Today we're going to Buzz Milk, something different for you. Why don't you join Peggy live? Whistle it on the drive, pick your car shut, please, that'd be great. 250 bird day today. We should we should get the bag right. Where are you? And the <laughs> Hopefully five. I want to do five. Um, definitely four. See where we're at, basically. So right, thank you. Let's draw. So then Paul, we've been shooting the butter milk shoot today, but you've got two shoots, haven't you? Do you want to explain a little bit about the two shoots that you've got? Yeah, so basically we've got the Beckering Park shoot. Um, that's predominantly partridge with pheasants. We've gone to the pheasants about November time, uh, mid-November. And then uh, the buttermilk shoot is a totally different shoot, actually. Beckering's is more of a game crop shoot, and buttermilk's more of a woodland shoot. So we're shooting birds over top of trees. Mostly pheasants with a few duck mixed in. Notice quite a few more ducks around on the buttermilk shoot this year. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, so basically I, I had a bit of a clever idea to put a few more ponds in. So there's quite a few like um, old ponds that are filled up with <laughs> silt and leaves. Um, that we sort of excavated that and made like little flight ponds and um, put a few extra ducks in. And um, yeah, we've done a few early days which sort of kicked off the season well. And uh, now on the on the side like, the, the main days, um, they sort of mix it up and sort of makes a bit of a different bag and, and some different shoots and different sports throughout the day.
think we will know you for a bit of rifle shooting, don't we? Yeah, that's what I'm sort of predominantly known for. But obviously, you've been doing the gamekeeping and the driven and, and uh, the game shooting for well, ever since I was like a you know small boy with my father as a gamekeeper. Um, but yeah, we, we do a lot of um, lot of stalking. We lot of clients from abroad. A lot of Chinese water deer. I've, to be honest, with you, that's probably what I'm probably most known for as a Chinese water deer. Um, but we do munt jack and fallow and row as well. So yeah, we mix it up and we fit that in between all the driven shoot days. So, you know, if we're not doing the game shooting, we're on the stalking, so busy life. Super. You said your father was a gamekeeper. So whereabouts was that and how did you end up over here? Um, so yeah, so he, he was a gamekeeper. He, he was down um, in uh, Wiltshire and then he moved to Ireland and then come back to Gloucestershire in the Cotswolds. And I grew up there doing gamekeeping with him and um, so I took the family tradition on, but I sort of like, I wanted to like progress and sort of have my own shoot. That was always like a dream I wanted to do, and now I've obviously got two, and you know, I, you know, maybe I made the wrong decision. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think the way the birds went today, they were pretty, pretty awesome, especially the last drive. Yeah. No. So you got Duke in the back there. Duke's one of our favourites here uh, at Jackpot. Whenever we come shooting over here, how long you had Duke? Um, Duke's eight now. Um, yeah, he's a good old boy. He knows knows the drill. Um, I stand out behind the guns on on. Well, all the driven days and he, he's a, he's the man after the runners so I, I sometimes don't even have to tell him he's just running but he's like basically on the runners every time which is great mops them up um yeah he's, he's in good form eight years he's still fit as a fiddle he certainly is he's always one of my favorite to watch when uh, when you see him as you say i've seen him going for birds before you've even said anything so he's a fantastic dog <laughs> it's quite a flash little setup you got in the back there so tell us a little bit about that yeah this is, this is a new setup here you've got a new truck this year and um got this from cab cab boxes great bit of kit actually before I didn't have any of this so you know the dog was like jumping over the drinks baskets and stuff like that so it's, it's quite good to have it all separate away um, and also have these you know whether it's rifles cartridges you know and also and also tools as well you know I can carry a full set of tools around with me now as well the old drill yeah so it's good you've got it all going on in there it's got yeah. some lighting as well in it up the top there everything in there everything oh lights yeah I've got lights not quite the LED stuff but does the job. That is, it's a proper yeah. bit of kit, that is. Thank you. 